Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon the Master of Martyrs and peace be upon your adorers. Welcome to Shia Waves. I'm your anchor Ali Jassim here to present and replenish your minds with the latest Shia world news. And now with the headlines. The first researching sessions of Rabia Shahada World Cultural Festival kicks off. A group of believers congratulate Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq al-Shirazi on the occasion of the birth anniversaries of our infallible Imams. Saudi preacher says Yazid deserves damnation until the day of resurrection. A delegation from Imam Ali Holy Shrine has visited Imam Mahdi Seminary School. May Allah hasten his reappearance south of the capital of Bangkok. The delegation also visited the Grand Mosque of Imam Mahdi. May Allah hasten his reappearance, which is the first mosque established in the South Asian capital. During the visit, a celebration was held on the occasion of the blessed birth anniversaries of our infallible Imams, peace be upon them, where a large number of Ahlul Bayt followers gather to rejoice and congratulate the visiting delegation. The first researching sessions of the 10th Rabi'a Shahada World Festival, which is held under the title of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, is a light and guidance for all the righteous people, were kicked off in the hall of Imam Hassan, peace be upon him, inside Al Abbas Holy Shrine. The session, which witnessed the attendance of many religious, academic, and cultural personalities, started with the Quran recitation followed by participations from Bahraini and Egyptian researchers. The researching sessions are one of the activities of the 10th Rabi al Shahada World Cultural Festival, which is held and sponsored by the General Secretariats of Mount Hussein and Abbas Holy Shrines. Within the activities of Rabi al Shahada World Festival, a group of young talented students from the Quran House Unit of Mount Hussein Holy Shrine has performed a number of Quranic activities, including a group Quranic recitation and chanting Islamic poems. A spokesman from the Qur'an house said that many religious, intellectual, and political personalities who attended the festival admired the performance of the young students. On the occasion of the blessed birth anniversaries of our infallible Imams, a group of high-ranking people and some guests coming from Iraq, Gulf countries, Syria, and Europe have poured into the house of the eminent Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Husseini Shirazi, may Allah prolong his life, in the holy city of Qum to congratulate His Eminence on these occasions. After His Eminence welcomed the guests, he prayed Allah Almighty to bless them all during these blessed days. Also on this occasion, a number of Hausa students from various nationalities were granted their turbans by the eminent Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Hussein Shirazi. May Allah prolong his life. The security forces have arrested the financial and military chief for the so-called Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant, the ISIL, in the Iraqi province of Salah al-Din. A security source in the Joint Operations Command said that the police forces in Salah al-Din have arrested the financial and military official in Baiji and Tikrit in a proactive security operations carried out. He added that the forces of the 2nd Infantry Division were able to kill a terrorist and arrest 11 others from the ISIL as well as destroying two boats belonging to them. After demolishing 35 Shiite mosques during the three-month state of emergency in 2011, the authorities revoked the Bahraini citizenship of 31 Bahraini citizens from the Shiite sect, among them as a religious scholar who was forcibly exiled in April 2014. The court also dissolved the Shiite Ulama Islamic Council and liquidated its assets, which is considered a clear violation of religious liberty. The Bahrain Center for Human Rights believes that these systematic attacks and sectarian discrimination against the Shiite sect amounts to systematic restriction against the practice of religious freedoms and is in accordance with the report of the U.S. State Department on religious freedoms in Bahrain. A Saudi preacher, Saad al Durahim, opened voice through Twitter his condemnation and rejection of Yazid ibn Muawiyah, may Allah curse him. Since Salafi and Wahhabi preachers all hold Yazid, may Allah curse him, in high regard, Saad al Durahim's critical stance is about to generate much controversy. Yazid, may Allah curse him, was responsible for the death of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, in Karbala. We have reached the end of our news show. Thank you all for joining in with us. And as always, remember our dua to hasten the reappearance of our beloved Imam Mahdi, peace be upon him. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.